Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to Craft With Me and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Alyssa and today we are making this six by six mini album and I really wanted to create still a mini album but something a little bit bigger to hold these little decor sheets that I found at Dollar Tree. So these were really the inspiration behind this project. These little sheets are in the teaching or classroom section and just look at this cute little strawberry jam jar that says you're the jam. I thought this was so cute and even if you want to cut out you're the jam you could do that as well and just have the jar by itself. So I got two of those and there's 36 in each package. These ones are just like a thin copy paper material. And then this one here, same thing as the last one, but I just loved this big floral image. And also you get 36 of these. And then this one is just a glittery watermelon. You get 10 of these because they are a bit thicker, um, kind of like a cardstock and I just absolutely adored these when I saw them. So do not sleep on the classroom section at Dollar Tree. <laughs> they have so many cute little decor sheets like this that you can use in crafting, and so these are a bit bigger. So I wanted to, again, create just a little mini album to hold some of these little cutouts. So this one here is six by six. I have Hold On Tight To Your Dreams with a little bird vellum cutout right there. And I really just used my scraps to decorate the cover here and the back as well. So we'll open this one up. And you can see I used that flower cutout as kind of like how you would a doily almost. So um, I just made a pocket over here, stuck some little goodies in there. And then I have your one in a melon because of the watermelon over here. And I've got a big sticker and a smile journaling card there. And then here's my watermelon. I made it into a pocket because I just thought that would be such a good idea for those watermelon cutouts. Stuck some journaling cards in there. And then, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little bite taken out of the watermelon. So I have a pocket in the back here and I try to like recreate a little bite taken out of it almost with my circle punch. So I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> it is kind of hard to see, but that's just what I did up there. And inside of that pocket, I made another floating pocket. So this just has some scraps and a guest check in there. And that goes right in the back. And then over on this side, I have another little pocket with some journaling cards in there. So that's how the front opens up and then here we are in the last section of this mini album, You're the Jam. I just stuck that right onto this page because it's so cute. Over here I have some journaling space and a little gem flower. And then this part actually flips up and I've got some journaling space. I tried to do a little bit of collaging with my scraps in the background. Got a little strawberry there. And then over here, I just have some writing space. And I just like drew these lines with my ruler and a marker. So it could be a little writing space there. And I've got some cute little dessert stickers in the corner. So that's it for this little six by six mini album. Let's go ahead and we can make one of these together. So to start off, you'll just need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And for this paper, you preferably want one with a non-directional pattern. 
So we're basically just gonna be scoring this at six inches on two of the 12 inch sides. So at this 12 inch side, I will score it right down the middle at six inches. And then I'm gonna turn it to the other 12 inch side here and score at six inches. Okay, so now we just have one, two, three, four little squares on our paper. And we're basically just gonna cut this score line over here on the left. We're just gonna cut a little slit just all the way to the middle point there. we're going to do is I'm going to put it so my pattern is right side up here and I'm just going to fold over both of these panels. So this one and this one as well. We'll just fold those over and then just fold this part back. And then I'm just gonna flip this. So now I have my album going the way I want it to go. This right here is where we're gonna have our pocket. So you can have a side pocket or a top pocket. And then there's the last bit of our album. So if you have single-sided paper like me, your front and back covers are gonna be the blank sides. And the measurement is six by six for this album. So if you have six by six papers, you can obviously use those to cover up the front and back. Um, or you can also just use your scraps and create a little collage all over the front and the back. So before we glue our pocket down in the middle here, we are going to grab two six by six papers just to create those other little pages that can flip up and out so grab two six by six papers. This one is a six by 12 that I'm just gonna cut in half. So there's my two six by six papers. And I'm basically just going to score these at half an inch. So that half inch little tab there is just going to be glued down. So these can become our pages. So I'll just fold this tab back and forth. And if you do have a paper with a directional print for these ones, um, just keep in mind the print and how you want your pages to go in your little mini album. Because for example, if you wanna put a page here like how I did with my first one, so it flips out this way. Just make sure you score at the right side because you can also like take this and put it at the top so that it flips up like that. So these ones, I don't have to worry about that because there's obviously no directional pattern on that. But now we can go ahead and just glue these into our book. And we're gonna do that obviously before we create our pocket in the middle here. So I'm just gonna take this one, pop some glue on the tab here, and I'm just going to attach it now right here. And That'll be my little flip out page in the front. And then I'm gonna turn this all the way to the back and I'm gonna glue down this sheet now and you can also glue it to the side here. But just to make it a little bit different, I like to put it at the top here so that it can just flip up like that. So that's how I'm gonna do mine. And so this one, I just put directly on the back. Make sure. 
sure that can still close up. So it will flip like this. Okay, so here we have it. And then we're gonna glue down our pocket right in the middle there. So I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna do a top loading pocket. So I'm just gonna glue down these two sides right here. And then just bring this part up. Right, and that's the basic construction of this mini album. I'm gonna move my scoreboard. So I'm just gonna go through my scraps and kind of just use those to cover up my front and back covers because I really need to use up my scraps. <laughs> I've got this sheet here that I'm gonna put on the front cover and then I just cut this branding strip in half so I can just cover up the top and bottom there with those. And then I'm going to take You're the Jam and just put that right on the front there. And I think I'll use foam tape to put that down. That's what I did with my um, other one in my other mini album. Even though this is like really thin paper. I just want to give it some dimension and I mean you could glue a heavier cardstock or something behind it but out of sheer laziness and time restraints I'm just going to do it this way So stinking cute. I love that so much. Let's go to our inside now. This is just a scrap that I had in my stash and it's smaller than the page but I'm just gonna go with it and have a little white border around it. I mean at least it will help me use up some of my scraps. <laughs> So let's do that. Then I'm going to take this flower cut out. I'm going to fold it in half, sort of. And then that's just how I did my little tuck spots like this but you could also just put it on the side. I don't know. I like it like this. So I'm just gonna pop some glue here on the sides a little bit and then right down the middle there. And then I'll just use it as a little tuck spot again. I also got these little tickets 
from Michael's actually, and these were 99 cents. And I have never seen these before. I don't know, maybe I was just never looking in this section, but this is also for a classroom. It's the Back to Class brand. And I just thought it was really cute. So I might use some of these little tickets. You get like all different colors. So I actually paid like 84 cents for this because I had like 15, an extra 15% off. So that was a really good deal. And I mean, I guess like the classroom and teaching section is a really good place to find different things to craft with. I mean, it seems kind of obvious, but it's also like not really a spot that I typically check out in the stores. Let me just put my seed packet in here because, you know, I thought it would fit well there. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe I'll put this ticket over here. Maybe I'll throw like one of these boarding passes on. just gonna glue this little scrap down and make a little pocket over here let's put it there I'm gonna put my ticket there I will stick this inside and then one of these little envelopes. Just gotta fold everything up here. There we go. And I'll just stick that in here as well. Let me glue this down. I'll just stick these in here as well. Right in the middle here, I can just pop this little tag sheet. And maybe I can attach it with a sticker. And actually, maybe I'll just add this other little doily sheet label, whatever you want to call it, right underneath like that. I'm just going to borrow my floating pocket from my first example if it fits. Maybe I didn't make this pocket wide enough. But just as my example there. Okay, here we go. Moving right along. Let's just add a little tag here and then a little postcard. Be silly, be honest, be kind. I love that. So those are all set. All right. Over on this side, I'm gonna use my watermelons and I am gonna turn it into a pocket again. So I'll just do this and place it right on. I mean, this just makes the perfect cute little pocket. I'm obsessed with it. And then I'll just put this little journaling card in there. 
Maybe I'll stick this in there. This is just something I made but never used. <laughs> so you can write on that as well. Some other things that I made but never used were these adorable mini envelopes. And I just stuck like a little mini card in there. <laughs> so I might put these somewhere in here. Maybe I'll put them back here. What I'm going to do is actually take this scrap. I'm going to turn it into a pocket. And I'll just put it on this side. And I'm going to just put my little envelopes on the pocket. I think a little chipmunk has just joined me. So if you hear something chirping or whatever chipmunks do, whatever it's called. I'll just stick this little mushroom sticker in this one. Kind of just poking out there and then I'm just gonna put some other little journaling cards in here and then over here I do want some writing space so I've just torn off this sheet of writing paper that I'm gonna attach with a sticker All right, and then over here, perhaps I will just stick a journaling card and another ticket. I'll just glue this on here in my little ticket. And I'm going to make it into a pocket. So that I can just add some other little ticket stickers in there. Let me just glue this sheet right on the back. It's almost six by six. I'll just put this right on the back and we are all set. So there's our little six by six mini album using some Dollar Tree decor sheets. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I'll just quickly flip through again what we have done. And I really do love this size album just for more space to put photos. You know, you can play around a bit more with the space that is in this mini album. And then you can obviously use bigger images like these inside of here as well. If you have those and you want to use them up somewhere, this is a great size album to do so. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration. I would love to be friends. So also leave me a comment down below and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, happy crafting and huge hugs everybody.